Awesome. Great. We get a two shot over there. That's why you can get it. Mark Allen, right. uh, Sacramento. Go ahead. And San Francisco, and also for Reels Channel. <laughs> if you keep track. That's right. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice work in this. Thanks, man. Thanks. I, uh, I can tell you're hearing me, which is... Uh, <laughs> it's which, the earplugs. Keys the earplugs. Yeah, because I was downstairs today just, you know, for that moment in time, I thought, for you, days, weeks, months to be on the road with them, how do you have your high-end hearing? Yeah, no, you got you to gotta carry the earplugs around. And it's much worse in an arena where, like, that sound is compact, you know, and you got, like, 20,000 people in there screaming, you know, at 110 decibels. And talk about the energy, how surreal it is. So surreal. It was... It was for me, it was a window into a world that I'd never kind of been into, and or, or never kind of gotten had the access, had the ability to get into, you know. Right. And so, to kind of get to be the fly on the wall as we're going on this journey was remarkable. I mean, in my lifetime, you know, I'm 42, and this was the clo this closest thing in my life that I've ever seen to what I can only imagine Beatlemania was like back in the '60s. And talk about herding kittens. How yeah. are you able to get this? How are you able to capture this? Well, get these, them all together. Well, that's the thing is like yeah, you are you're constantly wrangling these guys trying to get them you know to do things. Then you know when, when a couple break off, then you have a better shot, so you go get you know work with them. But when you got the five of them together, it is just like it's explosive. And what's the process? What kind of technology are you using? Probably standard cameras, but do you use a lot of GoPro and like subtle little yeah, cameras? Yeah, we, we didn't, we didn't, we shot a little bit with GoPros. Um, when you start blowing that up to 35 millimeter, it becomes very difficult. You know, you start to lose kind of image quality. Uh -huh. But most of the film, you know, was shot with uh, Sony F55s, F65s, you know, 5K and, 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 and 8K cameras. Um, the behind the scenes was all C300 Canon cameras. And then every once in a while we'd even pop out like an EX1 for some one man band shooting. So it was like a lot. We had like five, six different, different formats we were using. And most of the time, when you're following, just kind of capturing their lifestyle, their life, how yeah. many cameras are we talking? At the Usually one or two. Usually one or two. When we were on the road, like when we were shooting all the kind of the behind the scenes doc, you know, the key for me was to keep a really small footprint. You know, you don't want to like alert a lot of people that you're around and have a, have a bunch of people kind of there shooting. Um, so it was usually just one or two cameras. And do any of them have any editorial approval or disapproval? Of they got, I mean, they got input along the way the whole time. You know, they really got to, like, say what they liked, didn't like, things that they thought worked or didn't work. You know, I wanted them to feel really invested in the process. So um, they got to have a voice, which I thought was important. And at, at any point, did you... Uh did you think maybe having McDonald's come into it at some point, <laughs> that, that having the kids McDonald's get their hands slapped? Reading? McDonald's was coming into it no matter what. I mean, these guys, they're, you know, they're young men. They're 19 to 21. That's when you eat a lot of that junk. And sure. they, they took great pleasure in eating it in front of me as often as they as they possibly could. But did you say, dudes, don't you know who I am? Do you know what that's going to do to you? I was you? like, well, really, why are you doing that? They're like, come on, it's, it's late. we gotta, <laughs> we got to get something. What are we going to do? Favorite moment in the movie? Oh, I have so many favorite moments. I, I love when they go home. I love the time they spend with their families. I think the, that relationship they have with their families is part of what makes them who they are and makes them so special because they are so humble and so normal. And that comes from, from you know, a great upbringing. And I think that's, that's my favorite part, too, because, it, you know, they're an enigma. But when yeah. you see that, suddenly you realize, yeah, these are also human beings. Yeah, they're also, they're also kids who love mom and dad just like, you know, we do. And I think that it paints a very different side to them and makes them so accessible and one of the things I love about this movie is how accessible they, they, they are. Um, we get intimate moments and intimate stories that you have never gotten before. And I think that that's what fans will love and that's what I think non-fans will love. It's so cool. It's so cool that you chose this. Thank you. Good Appreciate to see it. you again. Good to see you.